All right, good morning, everybody. At least this morning where I am. I'm going to try to do this really quick. I want to show you a new Blender uh, add-on I've made to make your life, <laughs> at least makes my life, easier importing uh, Daz clothing and items into Character Creator. Um, what happens often is, with Daz items, is, and here's a, here's a pair of shoes that I imported into Character Creator uh, the old way. And when they come in, they come in with all these materials. See all these materials here? There's a, there's a bazillion of them here. And um, I think there's 17 of them or something. And a lot of these materials uh, are unnecessary. They're duplications. So if you go here to like this one, see this one here has exactly the same maps as this one here. Uh, one's, one's, I think, uh, I don't know, one, one's the shoelaces and one's the shoes, but, but the, because they use the same maps, you don't really need them as separate materials. There's a, there's a ton of them, and that's just how they come in from Daz, and there's no real way to consolidate them inside of Daz. Um, now, you have to be careful because some of them use the same maps but have different diffuse colors. So, for example, this heel uh, uses those same three maps, but come down here and the diffuse color is different than for example the uh, liner the inner here actually I want to go to the liner the liner here go to the liner and you can see uh, I don't know if you could tell but this diffuse is definitely different from from the heel so so you want to you want to preserve the ones that have the the same maps but different diffuse colors but you also don't want uh, the diffuse colors and, and the same maps and to give you all these different materials. So I wrote a little routine in Blender that does that. It consolidates it. So here we are with those shoes. Actually, let me let me load these in again. I want to do the whole process here for a moment. We'll uh, get rid of the shoes and we'll load them in. We'll do a file and import. And, and I talked about this a little bit in uh, when I was talking about how to actually bring clothing in. I talked about it would be a good idea to go through and consolidate, but once again, you have to be careful. Uh, the same maps, but different diffuse colors you want to preserve. Um, but it's just, even if it's the same maps, it's a pain in the ass sometimes to go through. So if I, if I select those shoes and I go here to the materials, you'll see there's all these different materials. And you would have to go through and figure out, you know, if they use the same maps by going into maps. And anyway, it's complicated. So <laughs> being the lazy person that I am, uh, I wrote a routine to fix that. So you go here, and it's called, it's called Matte Collapse. And it has a check mark here. This is rounding the colors. Uh, I, I did that because in these particular shoes, they used a lot of different shades of brown that were so close that I just didn't want to deal with all of them. So if you don't want the colors to be rounded off, if you want it to be absolutely precise, you can take that checkbox off. Otherwise, leave that checkbox on. And then this will collapse the materials really quickly. And here it ends up now you only have five materials, which is a lot better than 17, and you don't have to do anything. And so when we actually export that, I'm going to go back and show you the difference here. So, so we got all these different materials here. So we're going to go and we're going to create uh, a new thing with the, these brown shoes very quickly. This thing, these are cooking shows. I've already, I've already cooked this. <laughs> so, uh, but I'll show you how. So by collapsing those materials that we did it's a whole lot easier to deal with these shoes now now when we're going to deal with the shoes we only have these five and so you go in here and first thing you have to do is you always have to reduce the bump maps uh, well actually first thing you have to do is, is change it to pbr almost always want to change things to pbr the only possible exceptions are glass type materials uh, some chrome stuff that you might reflect okay so anyway so now pbr so now we want to reduce the bump maps and you'll see as we reduce the bump maps, oh, this is the heel, so it's on the heel. And then notice the, when the bump's up really high, it just blows everything out. So you have to reduce it. And also I don't, this is another one of those ones that uses a base color, but then it also uses a diffuse color. And see, it's kind of greeny, so I kind of want to move it over to the red a little bit more. That's a better brown. Actually, I could, I could move it over a little bit, even a little bit more to the red. That's a better brown. Uh, so that's that's that one. And then this is the uh, eyelets. So you see those eyelets, and they're not the right color at all because once again this is PBR, and it doesn't convert it to PBR very well. They're actually brass eyelets. So we go there, and then we bump up the uh, brightness to because it's metal. So we want it to be metal. You can already tell it's starting to take on metal characteristics, and then we shiny it up, and there it is. We got our brass. 
And uh, then we come down to, again, oh, and let me show you, this is, I think this is the, the, the there's liners in this shoe, but you can't really see them because there's, there's a big old foot here. So let's go to the uh, body and textures. And there really isn't any way of just making the body disappear other than we can go in and, and uh, turn down the opacity on it so we can see the interior of this shoe, which, come on. There we go. Okay, so you can see the interior of the shoe better. So now if we go to this material, um, again, the bump map on this material, this inside material here, which is what we're working on, is too hot. So we're going to reduce it. And you can see the texture starts to come back in. What happens when the, when the bump map's up too high is that it blows out the, uh, the uh, reflection stuff on there. So you got to take that off. And I think this one is the other the other in, uh, interior. Let's see. Let's reduce the bump map on this. Yeah. See, this is that the uh, the other sole of that inside. So when it's all blown out, you can't see any detail. So you lower it down till you can see some some detail in there. So that's fine. Uh, 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 uh. And then the last one is the actual shoes themselves. Again, uh, lowering the bump map, and you can see we start to get textures come into those shoes. And again, I don't like the color of this. I think this should be a little redder. So we'll move it over a little bit to the red just to get a little bit of, there we go. Nice brown. Okay, so there you go. So it's a lot easier to work with five materials than, <laughs> for a shoe than it is to work with 17. So that's basically my routine. So it'll be free. It'll be posted out there. I'll try to post it on this thread uh, in Dropbox. I'm also going to post links to all of my dummy models because I improve and change them all the time, so I want you to guys to make sure you always have the latest if you need. Anyway, thanks for watching.